Manchester United has finally made its decision on the Mason Greenwood case. The club finally released a statement after thorough investigation which started in February of 2022. Mason Greenwood has also released his own official statement after United released their statement. Is he going to be sent out alone or is he going to be sold outrightly to other clubs? All this and more will be discussing in today's video. But before we do that, you kindly like, subscribe and share this video. So more Manchester United fans are going to stay updated. It is a sad day for some fans of Manchester United. Like me. It is a sad day for me because I would have loved missing Greenwood to remain at the club. Manchester United officially, our club, they've released a statement and they have agreed mutually with Mason Greenwood to release the player away and send him away from Old Trafford. Which is something that I have never, I, I thought the club wanted to even bring him back. That was what I was thinking because the reports coming from last week, our CEO, Arnold, was saying his body language, in fact, things he said to other board members, other executives, behind closed doors was that they were going to bring Mason Greenwood back into the squad. Our coach also wanted the player back because if we have this, we will have a striker deficit. Our four players were playing rubbish. So our coach, Ericsson Hag, was looking forward to bringing and reintegrating Greenwood back into the squad. But then, the final decision has been made by the club, which is very, to me, it doesn't sit right with me. I'm a Manchester United fan, and I'll always remain a Manchester United fan, but I would have loved for the club to bring back Greenwood. As you can see from the way I'm speaking, I'm not really happy with the decision of the club. A lot of things are already going on in the club. The, the sale is no longer going to, the Glazers are not serious. Chef Jassim is getting tired. I'm not bad that we're supposed to sign, we are not signing, we are not saying anything. To the ball, nothing. The matches we started this season, we've not been able to win convincingly. The match against Wolves that won, we didn't win convincingly. In fact, it was just by luck that we were able to get three points. Look at our, our very lackadaisic and lazy display against uh, Tottenham. Look at how we lost that match woefully. Two goals to zero. No response, nothing. Our midfield is in crisis. And we are yet to bring back a player like Greenwood into the squad. Club has made a final decision that they are not going to bring back Greenwood into the squad. I are going to work with him to make sure that his trip away from Old Trafford is done. It's not a good news for me, but I'm going to give you guys the official statement of the club. I'm also going to give you guys the official Mason Greenwood statement. It was not an easy decision for the club to make. I'm going to be fair with you. Because of factions of the fan base, we are already thinking of protesting on the streets of, of, of Manchester. Even some staffs were thinking of going on strike and how they were going to dump their positions. Some of the staffs, in fact, Manchester United wanted to give the decision, you know, to the female players to hear their point of view based on the fact that the, the case involved the female. So they want to know how the females will feel and their own opinion. But it was believed, no, not believed, Seth. It was observed that the female players wanted Greenwood out of Old Trafford. They wanted Greenwood out of Old Trafford. But even at that, some of them were still scared because they were looking at their long-term prospects at the club. So it's not, it was not an easy decision. Some executives wanted him back. In fact, the CEO, Arnold, wanted him back. But then, you know, the fans are the owners of the club. Now, fans, they make club, within club B. So, they even had, they even took an opinion poll on some of the fans from the Supporters Trust Forum. And the, the opinion from that place was very disastrous. They wanted to move out. Let me read the official statement of the club to you guys. So, you tell me, what you, you tell me what you think about what the club just said. Because to me, when I read them, I don't see any reasonable statement we go say okay this is why we are chasing him out maybe okay it was found that he did this he was found guilty of social chat social chat nothing like that let me read the official statement of the club to you guys manchester united have concluded their internal investigation into the allegations made against missing greenwood our process began in february 2023 after all charges against missing were dropped Throughout the investigation, we have taken into account the wishes, rights, and views of the alleged victim, 
as well as the standards and values of the club and we have sought to gather as much information and context as possible to do this we had to be sensitive and careful to obtain evidence that was not in the public domain including from people with direct knowledge of the case based on the evidence available to us we have concluded that the material uploaded does not paint the full picture and that Mason did not commit the offenses for which he was originally charged. That said, as Mason publicly acknowledges today, he made mistakes for which he takes responsibility. Everyone involved, including Mason, recognizes that it is difficult for him to resume his career at Manchester United, so it was mutually agreed that it would be more appropriate for him to do so away from Old Trafford. And we will now work with Mason to achieve that result. This is the official statement of Manchester United. From what they've said, you can see that it was not everything that was posted on social media by the victim as a then. Charges were dropped. He was not convicted or found guilty of any crime. But he takes responsibility of the way the whole thing went and some of his actions. But then, is this enough reason why the club will let him go? Because if you look at it, what they said here is due to the values of the club and standards of the club. You understand? That is why they are letting him go. It'd be like the way they see it. They felt like, okay, uh, you get that something goes spoil rich. You just be like a relationship between man and woman. You get that relationship goes spoil rich. Maybe say with the quarrel, with the quarrel, no, but we know we feed it again. If you see me for road, half a half a. If we jump somewhere, hey, what's up? Been a while, but we know we feed it again. Maybe now what Manchester United mean by this statement? And to me, that is not enough because we we, we lack a player of Greenwood's quality. Let's be frank to ourselves. As a full, from the football angle, we lack a player of Greenwood's quality. We need him back. The, some fans need him back. But looking at the other angle and how the whole case has gone, he has not played football for some years, for, 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 for over a year or so. And then looking at how the case has gone, maybe they feel like the best decision was to let him go. I will also, I'm now going to read Mason Greenwood's uh, statement after the club released their own official statement. I want to start by saying I understand that people will judge me because of what they have seen and heard on social media. And I know people will think the worst. I was brought up to know that violence or abuse in any relationship is wrong. I did not do the things I was accused of. And in February, I was cleared of all charges. However, I fully accept I made mistakes in my relationship. And I take my share of responsibility for the situations we led to the social media post. I am learning to understand my responsibilities to set a good example as a professional footballer. And I am focused on the big responsibility of being a father as well as a good partner. Today's decision has been part of a collaborative process between Manchester United, my family and me. The best decision for us all is for me to continue my football career away from Old Trafford, where my presence will not be a distraction for the club. I thank the club for their support since I joined age 7. There will always be a part of me which is united. I am enormously grateful to my family and all my loved ones for their support, and it is now for me to repay the trust those around me have shown. I intend to be a better footballer, but most importantly, a good father, a better person, and to use my talents in a positive way on and off the pitch. This is a statement from Mason Greenwood. This is what he has released. A very mature statement, if you ask me. Very mature statement for a 21-year-old. This statement is very, he, in fact, he, he displayed more maturity than even the Manchester United. Yes. To me, I like his response, although I'm sad that he's leaving, but with the current situation of things, maybe it might be the best decision. What do you think as a Manchester United fan? Let us know in the comment section. Is it the best decision for Manchester United and Greenwood to part ways? 
or he should have stayed and they manage they do the damage control because there was a key line he stated there that he does not want his presence on the pitch to be a major distraction to the club to me that is a very sensible statement because sometimes if he comes on the pitch now he'll be hearing booze all over old trafford and to be a major source of distraction and morale killer to the players on the pitch so let us know in the comment section what you think i'm also going to give you guys what some some insider news about the greenwood situation here's one of the insider news that i'm going to also put on the screen my fc insists their plan was never to delegate the missing greenwood decision to their female players but they did wish to give the team prior notice and opportunity for feedback the women's team included players who were fiercely opposed to his return but that sentiment was not overwhelming some female players were worried about their long-term prospects at the club in the event they kicked up too much of a fuss. you see that's from the female angle of the club the other angle some employees of manchester united were appalled by the club's initial plans around missing greenwood and executives held multiple intense meetings with staff some discussed resigning in the event united brought greenwood back into the squad others started to research on how to go on strike so as you can see some some staff members wanted we would not to come back others wanted to resign others want to go on strike so you can see how deep this case runs it's not just what we see on the surface it's not what fans think on the surface there are other things involved in such a case there might be a loan move away from uh, for, for greenwood from old trafford that way we can still be in charge of the commercials in charge of the you know finances or we can sell him outrightly some clubs we are hearing rumors that some clubs from Italy and Turkey, they're already interested in Greenwood, but we are not sure how concrete those rumors are. You understand? So as time goes on, more news will unfold and we'll get more in-depth analysis into the case. More in-depth analysis into the case will reveal more things to us. So that being said, I will stop here for now. And as more news on this case unfolds, I'm going to be bringing it up for you guys to tell us what you think as fans of Manchester United. Thank you and have a lovely day.